Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the ninth house posited in the first house in a natal horoscope. Well firstly, as most of you know, the ninth house governs um, things connected with um, you know, foreign affairs, um, different cultures, long distance traveling, philosophies, um, broad uh, concepts, you know, higher education, in-laws, and when we look at the first house, it's the personality, the outlook on life, um, someone's appearance, and, um, you know, first things, um, impressions that, you know, people, um, pick up on, uh, you know, on a person. So, anyway, let me get started. Well, obviously, um, you know, I think one obvious, you know, conclusion one can come to is that the interest, um, well, I should say things that are connected or associated with the ninth house, um, can come out or be injected through the person's uh, personality, you know, felt such as philosophical nature. This person might be someone that is expansive, might uh, take on certain, you know, Sagittarius type characteristics, can be optimistic. The visionary side, um, you know, can come out um, very strongly. These qualities uh, can also be, you know, um, you know, something that the person first um, notices of this person. You know, for example, like with me, my ruler of my ninth house is actually posited in my twelfth house, but it's conjunct my ascendant, so it takes on, you know, certain, I guess you could say, overtones as far as ruler of the ninth in the first. And if you look at it, um, I can remember somebody telling me a while back that uh, they said, um, you know, you're a good philosopher or something connect to that, um, you know, that statement, the person wasn't, you know, very fluent in English, and I understood what she was saying, she was basically stating she th felt I was a philosophical person, I guess, and, you know, I guess that could be injected through my personality, um, and if you see, um, you know, the need for long, um, you know, long distance traveling in the, the broad, you know, somebody that thinks in a broad sphere or is interested in broad concepts you know these things you know this could come out you know you know in the first impression that somebody gets uh, of this person you know the ninth house interest obviously might be may very well be paramount in the person's life scheme if you look at like uh, you know the ninth house is connected with in-laws so at the same time you know in-laws you know, might affect this person's personality to some degree. Communications with in-laws, you know, might affect their outlook uh, on life um, uh, somewhat. Uh, this person may uh, very well be interested strongly, you know, in uh, long-distance traveling. You know, um, the need um, maybe to interact with others of a foreign culture. Our country could be very evident and apparent in this person's uh, uh, personality. I mean, I have a number of interactions on Facebook, you know, with people from, you know, foreign countries. Now, I don't do much, uh, I haven't done any, you know, long distance traveling to other countries, but you got to remember, you got to take the whole chart into consideration. I have Capricorn on the sign of the ninth house. Um, you know, my ninth house cusp, so that could indicate some restrictions with that, even though my ninth house ruler is conjunct my my first house, um, you know, you got to factor everything in. And also journalism might be something that might uh, be impacted strongly uh, this person. This person, you know, may come across to others as somebody that is erudite, somebody that is well educated, you know, their higher education or, you know, higher scholastic interests such as collegiate, um, you know, uh, I guess you could say collegiate learnings or, you know, uh, things that they learn in college and assimilate and absorb may very well come out through this person's personality and affect, you know, their interactions uh, with others. Religion, you know, could be something that comes out strongly in this person's demeanor. They could be very well impacted, um, you know, you know, personality could be impacted by their religious um, upbringing, you know, other cultures, things that they learn, you know, that are associated with foreign countries might impact this, um, this person's demeanor, maybe their outward, you know, um, I guess you could say their outward 
personality uh, that they show. Um, so, and, um, and also publishing could be something that this person might very well um, be interested in and might figure strongly uh, in their life somehow and it could be something that they might you know be interested in um, you know in uh, you know in doing in life uh, and this could come out somewhere in their you know you could say in their personality or their you know uh, you know what people notice about them strongly uh, you know might be something you know connected with an interest in um, in publishing so anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ruler of the ninth house posited in the first house in the natal chart stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the ninth house in the second house in the natal horoscope two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.